Hi, this is Melissa from Blockchain WTF, and today we're going to be talking about how the blockchain is going to affect the world of art. The blockchain is changing the art world for the better via digital scarcity and allowing people to invest in fine art that weren't able to before and a more ethical way of paying artists. It's really easy to copy and pirate artists' work, which diminishes the value of their originals. Similar to only having 21 million bitcoins, digital art is limited and may only have 100 or 200 copies sold. Logging art ownership on the blockchain can help reduce fraud, which allows for artists to receive payment for their art in a way that is quicker than traditional platforms, all while cutting out the middlemen. <laughs> wow, look at this, guys. I can't believe we made all this in one game. Yeah, I'm having a great time handling this money and then touching my eyeball. Jerome, another round for my blurry friends. Which allows for a larger percentage to go towards the artist's compensation. Platforms like Mycenas allow people that are not wealthy or accredited investors to invest in fine art, which has been proven to be one of the greatest ways to grow your money. Recently, Olivier Soroy created an art project called Ready Made Token, putting a single Ethereum token up for auction via the distributed gallery and signed it under the pseudonym Richard Price, even though Richard Price is a well-known artist and not a random pseudonym. What? Simply because you don't have evidence that something does exist does not mean that you have evidence that something doesn't exist. What? What country you from? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? Olivier claims this was to make a point about how a regular object from the regular world has more value because someone well-known in the art world signed it. There's an interview with Olivier if you're interested in the reasoning behind the artistic scam. But if all of Richard's actual art pieces were on the blockchain, people would know very quickly uh, that this one was an imposter. Mycenas is a platform that has blockchain-based auctions of fine art. Anyone can use the platform, but for the private beta, only 100 accredited investors could participate. This site collects all of your Know Your Customer or KYC information because all of the art pieces are blue chip works that are above 1 million US dollars. You can buy shares of fine art for 5,000 US dollars and upwards of Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Mycenas' art token equivalent. Using the art token, users get the 2% buyer fee waived to try and build up the coin's network effect. Smart contracts on the Mycenas platform will convert the cryptocurrency being used into art tokens. Even though most people won't have the physical possession of the fine art, they are able to diversify their portfolio by combining crypto along with these artistic creations. The platform has said that if there is enough demand, they may implement an art leasing facility to temporarily hold a piece of the art for a fee and then distribute the art proceeds as income to the art shareholders. So we've touched on fine art and now internet memes. My spoon is too big. My spoon is too big. My spoon is too big. I am a banana! Can't talk about art on the blockchain without mentioning Rare Pepe's. Rare Pepe's became an internet sensation in 2015 after a collection was posted on eBay. Now, they are digital asset trading cards and their ownership is logged on the Bitcoin blockchain via the Rare Pepe directory or the Ethereum blockchain via Pepe Dapp. There's Pepe Cash coin and there's a Rare Pepe wallet, Book of Orbs, a mobile counterparty wallet to use on your smartphone, and people have spent thousands of dollars on Pepe. One Homer Pepe sold for 350,000 Pepe Cash or 39,000 US dollars. Yahoo! Rare Pepe's aren't the only art with digital rights being stored on the blockchain. Platforms that are selling digital art also include Rare Art, Data.NYC, Curio Cards, Super Rare, and Pixura. Codex Protocol is a decentralized title registry for art and collectibles, and 
Remember Kodak film in old school cameras? Well, Kodak tried to make a comeback by integrating blockchain technology to the physical art world. They came up with Kodak Coin, which is described as a photocentric cryptocurrency designed to help photographers and agencies with image rights management. This was to be coupled with a Bitcoin mining computer called the Kodak Cash Miner, and users would pay around $3,400 to rent the machine for two years. Additionally, half of the coins mined would go back to Spotlight, the company's licensor, and the users would keep the other half. The project didn't last very long, as traditional Bitcoin mining equipment can be purchased for less money, and ready-made miners are already selling for significantly less, with only about a 5% cut. The other reason the project didn't work is that the SEC compliance with SAFT, or the Simple Agreement for Future Tokens, this required the token holders to be accredited investors, which most of the population isn't. To be an accredited investor, you must have a net worth of at least $1 million, excluding the value of your primary residence, or have had income of at least $200,000 each year, or $300,000 combined if you're married, for the last two years. Not many people fall under this category. This garnered the attention of the SEC chairman, Jay Clayton, who saw Kodak's pivotal shift towards blockchain technology as possibly violating securities law. Know of any other badass crypto artists or platforms? Throw them in the comments. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching.